everyone, Sophia here for my great challenge. Uh, welcome back to my channel. It is episode 25 of my master bedroom makeover. It's the home stretch. Okay, today I'm going to spend a lot of time in here. <laughs> it's all the minute final details today. So uh, it is April 16th. It's actually Edward's 20th birthday. Uh, tomorrow is Easter. Yesterday we celebrated birthday. We went to Mitsua, we went to the Korean supermarket, we went to Daiso, we did we did a lot of stuff yesterday. So we're not celebrating anything today because it's gotta go to work. Um, but let me tell you what I plan on doing today. I'm going to send um, what I did last week, which is that big patch in the wall. So that's getting sanded smooth. Then, I have to install the molding on top of the closet. That does the threshold between the ceiling and the closet. Then I have to remove the frame around the bathroom door and redo the frame with the same trim that I've been using throughout the bedroom. So I gotta do that. Once that's done, I have to start with the wood putty. I purchased a special wood putty. It's somewhere around here. Um, what did I do with it? I've, maybe I left it downstairs. It's a special wood putty that is um, stainable. So I have to patch every little um, seam of wood that I have around here. So on the door, on the bookshelf, on the other door, on the uh, main shelf where the plants are. Let it dry and then I gotta sand it. Uh, that's all I'm doing today. It's all the minutia, the little final details. Tomorrow, I start staining. Next weekend, we're painting. <laughs> and then after that, I gotta remove the carpet. So I don't think I'm gonna be done May 3rd. Definitely not have the floor on May 3rd, uh, but definitely before the end of May, this is done. It, it is a long time coming, and let me tell you, it's, it was, I'm at the point now, I'm like, ugh. <laughs> when is this ever gonna get done? Uh, so let me show you where I'm at, uh, what I plan on doing, and then we'll get started. It's going to take a long time, so I'm going to show you everything, bits and pieces as usual here and there. Uh, but uh, cheer me on because it's a lot of work. Um, I want to stain tomorrow. I got to show you the paint colors we picked, and I got to show you the stain color we picked. Uh, even though I kept it downstairs, I'll put pictures here and there, and then get started. All right, let's go. This is where the hole in the wall used to be. Uh, I did add actually a layer of um, compound uh, during the week. So this is all dry. I wanted to make sure I was getting kind of like nice um, leveled. I have a little bit of an incline here, but that's all right. Um, again, there's going to be big artwork here. Oh, another thing I gotta do today is put the trim right here um, to close the gap between the closet and the old wall. Uh, I have to install the trim over here on top and the trim over here as well. The old door frame I gotta remove. I gotta install this one instead. The door is white right now. I am still on the fence. Do I paint it? Do I uh, strip it? Do I buy a new one? Um, I don't know. Um, gotta figure it out. So. Yeah, the door may stay white for a little bit. Uh, over here, I have to fill out this gap here. I gotta fill out the gap here. And then all of the shelves have a tiny gap I have to fill. Uh, let me see, oh, you want to see plants? Doing pretty good, huh? Yep. Oh, this thing here is going back downstairs. I just wanted to see what it looked like here. Okay, and then at the corner of the shelf here, I gotta fill up the gap. Um, closet, all of these here, I have to fill the gap with the wood putty. Uh, not all of them, but most of them. And then do the same thing on the other closet. And here are the colors. Here are the colors. So, uh, the blue is called Deep Breath. It's going to be the back of this bookcase. And this back wall 
right here. The green, even though it's it looks like it's the same one that's in the staircase, um, I don't know if you can see the green. Oh, right here. Uh, it's almost the same. Okay, not the same, but almost. So we're gonna keep the staircase in green, but the closet here is gonna be green, and then everything else is going to be this color, which is not white. It's actually white with a little bit of green. It's called lychee. So here are, um, so these are the three colors that we have picked for the room. Um, this closet here, by the way, I did uh, put the trim here. The whole frame, all of this needs to be sanded today. Um, I have to sand here because I have a little bit of a uh, um, protrusion. Um, same thing right here. I gotta put the putty. So I got my work cut out. And then putty over here where the old frame used to be. Um, yeah. All right. Let me put this here. This I don't need yet. Um, put it over there. I'm going to remove the big chunks uh, first with this. Same thing that I did the last time. Uh, this was not a pleasant experience <laughs> at all, <laughs> but it's done. Okay, um, it's smooth. I don't know if you can tell, but it's smooth. There's really no line or edge um, from the old wall to the new wall. Is it super flat? And there's a little bit of a bump right here, but once it's painted, I got artwork on it. You won't see it. All right, so since I'm sanding, might as well go on the other side and tackle this. Uh, this is really light. But I still need to have... Um, oh, I gotta do this too. Ugh. I still have to sand it to make it nice and smooth. This is all going to be the same color. You know what? Let me put an old towel over his dresser. Closet is done. I'm going to install the trim over here. Um, if you remember, for those of you who are brand new, welcome. Um, this is protruding because this wall is not straight. The wall is actually going in slight diagonal. Um, but this one, when I built it, I built it nice and plump. So there is a difference in level here. And much less at the bottom because the wall is not only going at a diagonal, it's also slanted. Um, 
old house. So what I'm going to do is just put a, um, a piece of wood. Let me show you what I got. I have two of these square things. One is going to go here. Like that. It's going to need to get corked. And then at the bottom, it will protrude because it's a different level, but that's all right. Uh, I'm trying to think. I don't need to cut it at an angle because I am putting um, the trim over here. So let me do this one first. Yeah, and I'm definitely going to need to cock. Um, I'm going to nail it. And that's going to make the transition between this wall and this closet. Today I'm doing all the little details and I know the light is not great. Um, so this is what it's going to look like. Maybe you can see a little bit better. this side you really can't see it too much but as you go down it's a difference in height uh, and that's because I needed the wall to be plumb so it is what it is like I said old houses um, this is done I'm ready to move on and add the molding on top but I think you're more interested in seeing what it looks like from the other side and from the other side it looks like it was always there <laughs> It doesn't look like a problem area at all. I don't know if you can see what I mean by that because um, you can see the entire side and it's not cut. It's only on this side that you can tell that there's a difference in level. That's all right. Uh, let me get my level actually. We're going to check. Okay. So, this is my wall. This is my piece of trim. And this is the yellow wall. Whoops. So I went to the Home Depot and here is the trim that I am putting on uh, the ceiling. Let me show you. The spine, it's this little thing right here. That's it. I didn't want something too bold. I wanted something kind of simple. So what's gonna happen is that this is basically going to go right here. And it's all getting painted uh, the same color than the wall. I'm not doing a different color trim, nothing. So what I'm gonna do is bring it all the way here. And I'm gonna mark where I need to cut it, which is right here, I don't know if you can see like that and then I got a mark over there where I need to cut it um, and then the other one is going to be straight except for the outer corner and then there's another one going on the other side I don't think I'm going to add one on top of the bathroom door uh, I just want this but first I got to clean this up a little bit so if I give you a close-up this is what the trim is going to look like hope you can tell all right Oh, 
I want to install this one first because it's going to go down this way straight. Uh, you know what? Yeah, but this is split. Okay, hold on. So the first one is going to go right here. Um, it ends here. So I cut the angle. I don't know if you can see. There we go. All right. So the angle is going outside. And if I did good, it should meet, meet the other one right here. Um, we'll see. So that's done um, wasn't too difficult but that trim is very flimsy um, it was not that easy to place I have to be honest I have a little bit of a gap here that's gonna go away once I uh, cock and that's about it Let me look at it from far away there we go so it's obviously more finished Okay, gonna take a break. I need to have a cup of tea, um, get hydrated, probably eat something. It's 3.15. I'm gonna work another two something hours. My next step when I come back is going to be to remove this frame here, the trim, and install the other one. And then I just have to putty. Um, and I know that my wood filler is downstairs, so that's the perfect excuse for me to go downstairs. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I'm going to remove this um, and hopefully I'm not in the shot. It is a long day. I got super lucky. I do not have to fix the frame like I did on the closet. All right, put the glue on. This is 77 high. I'm not cutting them both because you never know. Chances are it's not leveled. So I'm going to cut them individually.
I gotta cut an angle. Either I cut the angle or I put it here. That means that this one would have to be moved here as well. You call me? No. Okay. I gotta cut the angle. I don't like the way it looks. I tell you, it's one thing after the other. Okay, so this goes, how did I do it here? A little bit more like this. Slightly cut, can you see? It's 83 degrees. I just look at the thermostat. I'm going to leave this alone. Um, who's going to go and look at that? Nobody. Okay, really. Nobody. Doesn't really matter. I'm telling you, if we ever sell the house, this is all getting ripped anyway. So, I'm building it for me. I'm not building it for anybody else. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Where's my ruler? Okay. 24 and a quarter. All right, well that definitely finishes the look. All right, and with the trim, here and over there starting to look like something and you can't really tell that this had to be cut not too much all right so now as I was doing this I got an idea we we'll talk colors at the beginning of this video I said I wanted to do the closet in green and then this here would be blue this here would be blue and then I'm looking for a door that would be wood. What if, because the problem is the blue on the other side um, ends up looking really, really dark, almost black. But we love that blue. What if I was doing the closet in blue, this in blue, this in blue, remember it's got lights inside, and I paint the whole door in blue. So basically this whole side of the bedroom is blue, and I keep the green for the other side, since I have the green in the uh, staircase, and then everything else is that lychee color, um, this one. So the wall behind me, all of it in blue, including the door. Let's see if I go like this. Hold on. It's dirty. It's got dust all over. All right, so let me put it closer. All right. The whole door in blue with the frame in, what did we pick? Sedona red for the trim. And then the green for the other side with gold curtains and then everything else in this. I think it's going to work. And what it does is that it frees me from the headache of trying to figure out how I'm going to get a door because my issue is that this particular door is not a standard size. This is a 24 by 65. Um, no, 74. 24 by 74. All the doors are 24 by 80. I would have to either one, order it custom, can't afford it, or two, I would have to cut it myself, which we all know is going to end up being a disaster. Or three, I have to entirely strip it, and it's louvered. <laughs> if it was a front, a flat panel, there wouldn't be a problem, but louvered, I don't think so. So, I just ordered a new handle, by the way, um, that's going to be a lever handle in the same color than the other one. It's not the same design because they don't have it, but it's going to be the same color instead of that wobbly knob that I have right now. I'll have um, a handle. Okay, um, 
taking a break, sipping on my tea, I am going to use this, which I think I got the wrong type. I got this wood filler here, which is stainable. Um, but it looks super toxic, and it says, warning, cancer. Repairs cabinet, furniture, floors, deck, window sills, exterior trim, fences, siding, door, door frame, soffits, fascia, baseboards, and more. Paintable, stainable, permanent, non-shrinking. Causes eye irritation. No, I'm not touching this. Uh, it looks like I'm not doing anything after this today, guys. Now, the... Oh, this one is paintable and sandable. I'm going to research because if I can use this wood filler, I don't think I can stain this. We're going to try. Let's try the colors. Okay, I'm going to do a color test. Um, we're going to use this as the flat surface of the closet and the color we pick is Colonial Maple. And this is like a semi-transparent. Obviously I can put more than one color. I don't know if you can see it. Obviously I can put more than one coat. So this is Colonial Maple. And then for the trims, we got Sedona Red. And again, I can do more than one coat. Okay. So these would be the colors. I don't know if you can really see. What do you think, Scott? Huh. Let me put another layer. Yeah. I'll try another layer. I don't layer. know if the red is uh, working. Huh? I don't know if the red is working. Maybe it does need another. Yeah, it probably does need another layer. Okay, let's do another layer. Darker, and then we're going to do another layer with the maple. See, the problem is that I have my uh, light above us, and it's really, really bright. It's not giving you the right color. Is it better, Scott? Yeah, I somehow feel like the uh, the lighter one could be more yellow. Uh, what does it look like with the third layer? Is that better? Well, hey, listen, we gotta, we gotta pick the right color if you don't like it. Now let me see if I can put some red on it. If I add a little bit of red to it, this is what it looks like. How did you add the red to it? You put the, the other uh, stain on it? Yeah, just a thin layer on it. You wanted it to be more golden, right? Yeah. All right, so we gotta get the uh, uh, a different um, stain. A different stain. You wanted it more like a golden oak, like a honey color. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, uh, what I wanna know, but you like the red though. Well, yeah, yeah, I think so. Okay. I'm gonna have to 
happens when you do another layer. Okay, and you like the red probably with an extra layer, right? Yeah, the, uh, yeah. I you see. know, if that were a little darker too, I, I think. I really? Know. Yeah. All right. So good thing I tried them because obviously these are not dark enough for us. Okay. What do you think? Do you like it? Um, I like the red, but this to me is too light. Yeah, yeah. I agree. So what I can do is keep it, but then once it's done, I just add a thin layer of red on it, like this. And what it does is that it gives us this. Yeah, but I think I would like it more if it was blonde. Okay. All right. So I got to get a different color. Colonial maple is not yellow enough, but I'm on a mission here. What I want to know is is this stainable so it looks like I can fill small cracks with this thing it does take the stain so good news let me get my spackle knife whatever you call it we're gonna keep the Sedona bread Everything's going to have to be um, varnished afterwards. So if you see this as being kind of like matte and may, I'm trying to show it to you in real color. Oh, okay. That's better. Okay. Um, it's all getting schlacked afterwards. I'm telling you, I'm not done by the third. It's very obvious. Okay, uh, cleaned. Uh, let's recap. Um, today I sanded this area here and it's nice and smooth. It's ready for painting sometimes in the next two weeks. Over here I sanded all of the uh, edges of the old frame. So this is all again ready to be sanded and I did patch little bit of a hole that I had right here. All of this needs to be sanded tomorrow. On my closet I finally put the trim on the side here and I put the trim um, on the ceiling. Uh, Scott and I agreed on colors. I patched the seams here and here. I gotta sand everything tomorrow. I installed the new um, trim around the door and what else oh and then I patched um, whatever little gap I had here and there including on the shelves again all of that needs to be sanded tomorrow and we have decided Scott and I as we were looking at colors and stuff after I talked to him about my idea is to do all of this in wood and blue all of it including the door and then the other side by Scott will be green um, and then everything else is that lychee color so uh, I'm gonna put myself together and say goodbye let me go by Scott's side of the bed and if you look at it from Scott's side of the bed this is what it looks like um, except that I do have my ring light in the middle it's still daylight it's about 6.30 and I'm telling you, I am exhausted. Um, yeah, so that was it for day 25. I hope you're seeing the vision here, okay? I hope this is finally coming together for you guys. Um, I'm glad I finally did the trim 
what do you call it, the molding on top um, and um, what's left. <laughs> Let's talk about what's left because I have to think about um, in terms of weeks, okay. Tomorrow I'm staining. On next Saturday I will start with one coat of paint and while the paint is drying I will do the schlack over the um, wood. Um, maybe with a, co a color or undertone in it, something like that, because uh, I know there's some schlack that has a little bit of yellow in it, so it's going to bring the vibrance up. So there'll be one coat of paint. I don't think I can paint the whole thing in one day, even if it's just one coat. So let's focus on one color. I will do the blue next uh, Saturday. Sunday, um, I'll do the white. I'll do the white in the staircase and I'll start doing the ceiling um, and then maybe Scott can do the green. That's just going to be one coat so that's next week. The week after that is the last week of April, it might actually be the third, I don't know. Uh, I'll have to do two coats so we're in three weeks now. Fourth week, fourth week so we're in May, half, you know, mid-May. We'll remove the carpet, uh, remove the rug that's underneath it, that uh, pad thing, and then we really got to struggle to remove every single one of the staplers. I understand that there's like a, um, a hand tool, kind of like a broom thing, that's uh, one of those that pops all of them, so we're going to try that, I don't know. Uh, and then um, it's going to be the wood, the wood floor. The decor, I'm going to do little by little outside of off camera because once I have the wood floor in and you guys have seen the entire room done, uh, all that's going to be left is the decor, but I'm going to take my time. So there will be a final reveal possibly a month later because I don't want to be like buying stuff left and right and then it doesn't fit. I want to take my time even though I kind of have ideas. So um, yeah. Mid-May is when I'm projecting to finish this. We'll see. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed the video and what I'm doing with the room. Uh, I know I am. Scott loves it. I love it. I can't wait for it to be finished. I know a lot of you can't wait for it to be finished. Oh, I forgot the green chair. <laughs> I still have to tint the green chair. The green chair is going to stay green. Uh, I'm going to get some uh, red. Uh, fabric dye and I'm going to dye it in emerald green so it's going to be a green over green so it won't clash too much um, there's a way of doing this it's got to happen outside so there's still the green chair <sighs> yeah definitely not done by May 3rd but this is what's going on so I'm pretty happy it is 7 35 I am going to prep dinner we got cake we got uh, Korean food we got uh, uh, gifts he has to open uh, and while the stuff is cooking I'm going to sit down have a cup of tea and read a book. You guys picked this book for me on Instagram. I got about that much left. I am loving it. It's really good. It's really really good. The secret in the wall. It's different. It's not like it's uh, during Victorian time in San Francisco. Um, it's about pirates and murders stuff like that but apparently it's number seven in the whole series or um, number eight and I've never read any of the other one but you can start with this one I don't have any problem with it but anyway so I'm gonna go sit down read cook dinner enjoy Edward's birthday when he comes back from work and that would be it I will see you next time next time I'm staining um, hopefully you'll like the colors uh, we gotta go back to the store and find a more suitable warm rich golden oak type color because the one we pick turned out to be too pale um and that would be it don't forget to subscribe right here in the corner uh, find me on instagram and facebook at my great challenge my great challenge gift finally mugs are back um they were expired for a while so they're back everything else is back actually my great challenge gift for channel merch on etsy and my other etsy shop for vintage finds Frenchie and Tubby and somewhere around Monday night I think I'm posting a whole bunch of stuff so um, 
once you're done with this video, check out the shop. There may be new items. I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hey, it's me. And guess what? Click that thumbs up if you really like this video. Thumbs down twice if you didn't. You can also share my video if you really, really liked it or save it to watch later. Also, you can subscribe to my channel, but don't forget to click that bell button so you are always notified when I post a new video. Thank you for watching.